Question number 10 is a simple topic. It's easy. You ought to just use differentiation two times. It is to use differentiation rules and higher different derivatives in solving real world problems. Let's look into this. Here you can see they have given you the position function, S as the position. To find, we need to find the velocity and acceleration. We must recall position like displacement or height is static like you know just as given value that is given as s of t whenever you derive this d by dx of this what is the answer it is the velocity velocity with respect to time now when you derive the function of velocity you get acceleration so this is the thing given thing static i mean uh, height or position derive it you will get velocity and when you derive velocity you get acceleration now let's look into the units this is in terms of meter this is meter per second this is meter per second square okay that's the thing so please remember and now sadly we we can do one part of it up to velocity we can do and calculate it directly but not this they if they just want you to find the equation it's not possible but if they give a x value in the coming problems you can see this one can be solved and calculated but not this so it's best to know the method exactly it's only power rule so it's not that difficult at all let's find derivative of this s dash of t which is equal this is equal to velocity is the derivative of s of t how would you do it power rule the power comes down multiplies with 16 it'll be minus 32 t to the power 1 plus 40 since it's power 1 i don't write this and t just power 1 will be 1 so we don't write it plus 0 we don't write it this is it i'm sure you're thorough with this by now and what about acceleration acceleration with respect to time that is derivation of velocity or you can write double derivative of the position now here you need to derive it again it will be minus 32 this is the acceleration that's it that's the answers so you can see here negative 32 and minus 32 plus 40 that's how we do it now you can just use the power rule and solve few others this is again straightforward so you can do it by yourself but now this one best would be to write this position in terms of how you understand it the well okay, let me just write it properly s of t only t will have bracket its position with respect to time so t root would be half plus 2t square now what do we have here derive this s dash of t that is the velocity half comes down t okay now i hope you remember you can always do the formula so square root t is always uh, 1 by 2 root t okay i will just use the formula and show but we will come to this 1 divided by 2 root t how here it will be negative half because 1 minus half is negative half plus 2 comes down this is 4t over here we can simplify this rearrange this sorry 1 by 2t to the power positive half plus 4t or we can write it as 1 by 2 square root t plus 4t this is the answer and now over here what do we get that is the velocity with respect to time okay so you can see that's the velocity with respect to time and next what do we need acceleration so derive this again now it's gonna be crazy is it did deriving this again so what i would suggest is whatever you have over here just derive this again but your option may not have this as the answer so you need to simplify to the final form this might be your option or this might be option for velocity this might be your answer for velocity or this might be your answer for velocity but now when you're deriving for acceleration use this form it's easy to understand now let's do this bring the negative half down so it'll be negative one by four because half times half is one fourth t to the power negative three by two why is this negative half minus one it'll be negative 1.5 or three by two plus 
4. And then you can rearrange it and write negative 1 by 4 t to the power 3 by 2 plus 4. This might be your correct answer, uh, option. You might have this or if this is not there, then you will definitely have this. Let's negative over here. Uh, it will be cube root, sorry, square root. You do not need to write the 2 because square root, it's under, oh, sorry. It's understood. If it's just a square root, it's enough. It's understood. It's a 2 over there. t to the power 3 plus 4. These are your answers. So these are the steps to do it. Now, you have to do the steps. There is no other way. You have to do the power rule, okay? Now, over here, you can see they have, you know, very basic answers. Like, they have not simplified. But it's better to know the simplification. They have just done, you know, not these two steps, only the first two basic steps. But please remember, sometimes these won't be your answers. Like, I mean, this is the correct answer, but there will be more simplification. So please make sure you do it up. So that's the thing. Uh, you can see over here, these two are the answers. Now, what about this? It's the same thing. Just take the t to the upside. It will be t minus 1 and then solve it up. So it's again simple, please uh, do it by yourselves and make sure you understand it. Power rule, let me just do it once quickly. So when you derive this for velocity, derive the about term, this will be zero. Negative, okay, first let me rearrange and write this. It will be 10 minus 10 t to the power minus 1. Why? If you bring it to the numerator or denominator, the sign changes. Now it's plus 1, it becomes minus 1. Now here... This minus 1 comes down, so it will become plus 10. T minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. This is the answer. Or you can write it as T squared. 10 divided by T squared. So you can see they have just written this answer. But always remember to make this power positive, you can just take it down. And again, now minus 2 times 10 is minus 20. Minus 2 minus 1 will be minus 3. So that's how we do it. Now here again, it's the same problems. Uh, what you need to do is find the velocity and acceleration but they have specified intervals so let's do it what you need to do basically derive this how do you derive it's the same thing t comes down it will be 16 times 2 is negative 32 t plus 40 this is the velocity what about acceleration again derive this it will be negative 32 only now, this part, right, you have a t variable. What is the initial uh, time? At which time do you have to solve this for? At 1. See, this is the part A. Now, I'm just doing for A. Let me do A first. At t naught equals 1, that means over here, you need to substitute the t value as 1. And the answer would be positive 8, right? 32 minus 40 minus 32 is 8. Here, this is itself the answer, minus 32, doesn't matter. B over here, you need to multiply this two times, negative 32 times 2, because T0 is 2, plus 40. Now the answer will be 64, so it will be negative 24. Negative 24, okay? So unit is, it depends on which unit is given, meter per second, meter, so that's it. The 32 minus 32 will be the same for both. You can see over here, uh, where is it? The acceleration, whether it is at one instant uh, time interval of one or two, it's the same thing because it's just the same. There's no variable, right? But here, the first one was eight. Next one was minus 24. That's the thing. Now, over here, you can see the velocity. It was going upwards because it's positive, negative because it's going downwards. Same thing here. The first part can be found out in the calculator. I'll show you. In your calculators, if you press shift and dy by dx, now type this equation entirely. That is 10 alpha x squared minus 24 alpha x. Okay, and what is the x value? X value is 2. Okay. That's 16. See, at 2, interval time 2, its velocity is 16. What about the interval 1? Velocity will be negative 4. But for the acceleration, you can't. So you need to make sure you solve it. Derive this. 2 comes out will be 20t minus 24. 
and then next one will be 20 only so the acceleration is 20 so please make sure you solve it up and that's it very uh, simple problems make sure you solve more problems and that's how we do it if you have any doubts please post them in the comments